Um, hi guys, how are you doing? I'm Richard from Genki English and today I've got a special treat, we've got an interview with Margaret! Yay! Hi, good morning! Uh, so, um, Margaret's on, on Skype here on the TV in the background and as those of you who've seen some of the videos on the blog recently have seen some of the fantastic videos of Margaret's kids because uh, your kids are absolutely amazingly brilliant um, and I think some of them are like third and fourth graders as well yes and they were, just, they were so cool so I thought get, get Margaret on the, on the uh, Skype on an interview for you guys get some of her secrets out of her as to why her kids are so good and also to talk about this brand new project that we've been working on this new way of doing Genki English which is um, pretty exciting yeah so so first of all Margaret um, you know, briefly where are you from and you know what's your current teaching situation okay so I'm from Germany I came to Japan around uh, 20 years ago uh, and now I am uh, next to the lake, biggest lake in Japan, Lake Biwa, just five minutes walk. I would like to show you, but it's raining and I can't take <laughs> the computer out now. <laughs> Fair enough, not a good idea in the rain, no. <laughs> <laughs> so are you you've got your own school, are you teaching at primary school? What's, what's the deal there? Uh, yeah, both. So uh, my main work is uh, my own school at what? home, uh, kids come into what do I have six classes and it's about six seven students per class and they are from kindergarten up to junior high second so five years to oh, 14 cool Ooh. are you doing and elementary I, as well yes cool yeah. so and yeah in primary school I'm teaching fifth and sixth grade which means right. 11 and 12 years old <laughs> okay. about 300 kids which can sometimes be the trickiest years I would imagine oh I love them oh that's cool so you obviously now you're a big Genk English fan so yeah just last week we had some games and things you've done and we've got videos and stuff you've been using Genk English quite a bit so I think a lot of the people watching this video are big Genk English fans as well so obviously you think it's, it's been doing great for your students everything's been working well there it's just yeah, why, why are the kids so good? It's just because I'm using Genki English, I think. So, when I started teaching 20 years ago, it, I, it was horrible, I was horrible. And <laughs> the kids just came Same and with me. Have <laughs> For, so now, yeah. So, so until now, I think you know, most teachers are using Genki English just in their classrooms <laughs> and maybe one or, one or two hours a week or something like that. And one of the things that we've been talking a lot and on the forum and things like that is how can we get the kids to use Genki English at home? Because, you know, from my research and stuff, we've seen that if the kids can actually use Genki English at home, it makes a huge big difference. So we've tried lots of experiments over the years, haven't we? So you tried giving the kids a student CD, so that, or the students buy the CDs to use at home. Did that work out? Not really. <laughs> yeah, okay, so there's lots of different problems with that one, yeah, um, I'm being honest about it. Now last year we came up with this idea of Genki English Online, which I thought was a brilliant idea. We put the Genki English software online, and you can tell by Margaret's face the reaction that her students had. As we put it online, I thought it would be brilliant, the kids could use the internet at home and the parents could pay for access or whatever, and we just tried it out, and how did that work? It was worse than the CDs. Because, well, the, I think because they had it for free, they didn't even turn on, go online and, yeah. Right, right. And, and that was because we, we were doing the trials and the idea was we were going to pay for it later. And to be honest, I've had the same reaction from even those people who are paying for it as well. It's, the, it's just too much, I think kids' online computers and parents doesn't mix. Uh, it seems like the parents are cool for the kids to play on Facebook and things like that or whatever, or games, but they don't really want them doing things for school. They seem a bit scared of that. So, online, out of the window. So, but we've been trying and trying. Now, we've been trying this new project, this new way of doing it, which, fingers crossed, seems to be actually working really well. So, before we actually talk about how we actually do it, let's first actually, so this new way, is it, you know, cost is obviously a big thing for teachers. Was this new way of doing Genki English, this new system we've been doing, is it very expensive for you? No, it's, uh, I think for the parents, oh, well, for what myself, about for you? What about for you though, is it expensive for, for you? No, 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 no. <laughs> in fact, I, I, wrote, I asked you this in an email and you wrote back to me and you said quite the opposite. So, yeah, yeah, no, it's, 
So actually, you've been making money from this. It's amazing, yeah. Yeah, in, in a good ethical way. You know, good, you know, it's business. You, you run your own school. You want to build it up and things. So financially, it works out great for you, and it works out great for the parents. Yeah. Yes. Good. Okay, that's number one out of the way. Number two, was it a lot of hassle? It's new because teachers don't want to take on new systems and stuff. Even if the kids get really good, if it's a lot of hassle and admin or blah 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 and a lot of work, they don't want to do it. Was it a lot of hassle or a lot of work? No, practically it's much easier than the CDs because with the CDs it sometimes happened that oh, okay number five doesn't work on Windows blah 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 machine and it doesn't open on this machine so all the parents came and right. had problems with this or that and uh, I had to go through the houses again and check and we oh. didn't find solutions sometimes right but with the um, with this one with, with the new project because um, we don't have a name for this yet, yeah, do we? Because we? Yeah, we don't know what it is yet. <laughs> well, it's just magic. So, and no, it oh. works practically very well. And the only thing is to, how do I convince the parents? How do I explain it to the parents? Um, and, but that also, I wrote up one letter to them and okay. explain the things very easily and uh, then I had a meeting with them, had them come over, uh, which I usually uh, anyway do to oh, talk okay, about okay, the right. kids and about their improvement and stuff. And well, I think I think that I introduced the yeah the program. I think that's actually one really good takeaway. Is if you have if, you, if you've been doing regular meetings with parents, yeah, yeah, like half half uh, twice a year. So. Right. So that is actually a really good key. I think all teachers and if you've got your own school, you should do that. That's brilliant. So okay, so it's, it's, it's not has and educationally with this new system. Have you been seeing results with it? Have the kids been getting any better from it? It's amazing. Yeah. So should I talk about this already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, talk about it. We don't actually talk about how, what it is yet. I'm going to save that because everybody wants to know what it is. But we can talk about the results, you know, what sort of things have been going on. Yeah, okay. So, um, the kids can do their homework, the game and the song and everything we use the, in class. They can do it at home. And they want to do it. They want to do their homework. So they run home. I, I give them their homework. Okay, so today we did, do you have any pets? Okay, go home and do, do you have any pets? And uh, go through it. And yeah, they do it like two or three, well, four or five, five times a week. It, it depends wow. on the kids. But anyway, they do it as long as they get it. Right, right. And they come back the next lesson and they just know it you know they, they they can they can speak they can do topics so i can go on now they have the material so i can go on in the lesson and really do games or scripts or whatever with them right can do communication and really put it into practice and then we can go on to the next topic so uh yeah, it's amazing. Great. I'm, I'm loving that. I mean, because this, this is, this is, you know, the reason why I started Genking. This was to, you know, to get, get teachers a bit free from all of the hassle side. And, and so you can start doing more and more and more with the kids and getting them really good. So I'm really excited about this. And I can see you're excited about it as well. Yeah. Well, and it's like the little sisters or brothers, the, the siblings of the kids who come here to practice, they are seeing their bigger brothers really excited about doing their homework and going to English <laughs> class although they go to school until 3 or 4 o'clock and then right away at 4.30 they come to English class and it's like yeah I have English and it's like okay mommy when can I go to English class you know so this is brilliant I think it's just Perfect. Okay, now one thing a lot of teachers are going to say now is, and I hear this a lot, is teachers will say, but if you give the kids Genki English as homework, you know, it's the soft, it's the software, yeah, it's the games and the music they've got of homework. A lot of teachers say, but if you give that to them, then the parents will say, oh, we don't need the teacher, and they'll quit your lessons. So mm. you, we've just started a new school year here. Have you found a lot of students quitting and things because of this? No, no, I get more and more students. I just said. <laughs> Since I since I started the system, well, it's not only because of the system, but I think that's uh, one major point also because it really goes well. I had uh, yeah many many kids sign up actually. Wow. Um, well, well, well I so, have, yeah. I mean, obviously your teaching has got a lot to do with it. I mean, you are so proactive and stuff, but it's great to hear that. Well, yeah, but and I think if they wouldn't have the system, uh, if they wouldn't have me as a teacher. 
uh, they wouldn't have anybody to set the homework and they wouldn't do it right. without me. So they are doing it because they're coming here and they are in the classroom with their friends here and they are having fun once a week and that's what they are doing it, you know, so it, 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 it's connected, it goes together. Cool. And so if I wouldn't be, the parents never would say, okay, we just do it with this because the kids wouldn't. Right, I, I, I see what you mean, fair enough, yeah. So that's, that's great. I mean, and this is the one thing, so it's a big battle at the moment with education and, and you know, we know all the really boring teachers out there. And, and everyone watching this video, you're, you're the, the super cool, brilliant 1% of teachers um, who are doing stuff that's really cool. But we know there's so many boring teachers still out there and they're just teaching grammar and the kids never talk and they hate the school. So I, I'm, I'm really happy to hear this. We can get more and more kids to teachers like you or to teachers like people who are watching the videos. Get more kids going to your school so we get the kids getting better and better education. So anyway, so now we've said all that, everybody's wondering what on earth is this new project? It's, yeah, I mean, the, I mean, it seems so simple. I don't know why we didn't think about it before. It's just these. Look, it's, they're just USB memory sticks. Now, all we do is, now, we actually, you sell these to the students. The students actually buy them. Now, this is, I think, as you mentioned before, this is a key thing. If you give stuff away free, they, they value it at that. So, um, what you do is, you, well, you, well, so technically, you just copy, what do you do? You, you put the Genki English software onto one of these things, and then yes. sell it onto the parents. Yes. Right, it's dead easy, so that's easy to do. Now, um, now money-wise, um, how much do you charge? Do you charge, do, I mean, do they tend to go for like one volume or just one CD's worth, or do they go for the full set? Well, that was really interesting. In the beginning, I wanted to give them the option because that's how I did it with CDs. I, I, I have pretty low income parents, so I didn't want to say, okay, you have to pay how many hundred dollars, you know? So right, right. I gave them always like two CDs or something, but that's why it didn't work. Okay, forget about that. <laughs> <laughs> and so I thought, okay, I give them the option to get only like two volumes or three volumes or whatever they want on the USB, but then it's much more work for me because I have to search it out from the download, you know, what I have right, to copy right, right. stuff. So I made it and I think I was lucky to do this, I made it a little bit more expensive per volume. So if they would just get one volume, one volume would be, I, I think, like 25, well, I don't know the dollar course now, like 2,500 yen or something per volume. So that's like, that's like $30, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And um, if they get the whole set, which was uh, up till now 10 volumes, it was like uh, <laughs> 20,000. Right. So that's actually, that's a 20,000 yen, that's more than $200 actually, isn't it? So that's actually more, your parents are willing to pay more than how much the actual teacher's download pack is on oh the God. site. <laughs> but hang on, so to the point, but, but were the parents happy with that? I mean, did they... Well, yeah, and then they, and I gave them the option to, because for me, what I pay right now, right away, is just the memory stick. Well, and I actually, I had them pay the plus 800 yen memory stick. But, <laughs> so, it was no cost for me. So, as I told them, you can pay in rates, you can pay me until blah, blah, blah. Right, after right. Your head or whatever. And you can also, like your monthly fee, you can add 1,000 yen per month or however you oh. want it. Let's consult about that. And then what happened was the next week they all came with $200. There was no question about it. Wow. And they were so happy. And they are really happy about the kid, their kids doing it and doing the homework. Cool. And they don't have to sit with the CDs. It's do they get scratches? And right, can right. the kids really open the right thing and stuff like that? But with the USB, it's they leave the kids in front of the computer and the kids can do it on their own. Right, and it's obviously safer than the internet and stuff. I mean, that's yes. So the yes. take up has been, you've had most, I mean, what sort of percentage of parents? Are most of the parents gone for it or just a few or what sort of percentage? All of them. All of them? All of them. Wow, okay. I guess well, there's one, one, one of them, uh, no, she has like four CDs right now and her computer broke down and she can't use it. Uh, the memory stick right now. Right. Okay, so there's one who didn't get it yet. Wow, so that's obviously the parents. I mean, and, and the thing is, we're talking about, the one, I mean, in, in Japan and also in other countries as well, even like Thailand and China and stuff, the, the, the packs that parents pay are like thousands of dollars. 
So like $200 for something like this is actually quite cheap. Um, and then to just, we, I don't want to talk too much about the money side of things, but one of the reasons that I want, I want to do it this way, because it's just a USB, there's very little costs involved compared with CDs, is that then what I've decided to do is, because I want more teachers to do this, is then I split the money with you. And then how much of that money, how much of that $200, how much do you get and how much do I get? Well, you split, so... It... Yeah, so it's 50-50, so uh, we did a 50-50 split. Yeah. So you basically pulled in, for your school, which is quite a small school, you've pulled in an extra few thousand dollars this year. Yeah. Yeah, which is... Well, a thousand, well, yeah, 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 well... Yes. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> and, and I'm happy about it as well because we got, you know, because that's more money I can put into developing new materials and stuff. So I don't have to spend 18 months doing a CD. I can get more help and helping people and do stuff like that. So it works out great. Education of the kids get really good. Uh, the parents are going for it. It's cheap. It's financial. It's brilliant for you because you make more money. Oh, it's one thing about copyright. Now I I said to you like, do the parents ever decide that they're just going to take it and copy it around their friends and things? But you yeah. said that you actually had the other thing, that they were actually make, wanted to make sure that you were actually licensed to actually copy this. Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, I wrote, I wrote a note uh, in, the, in the writing, I, uh, in, in the letter I gave to them about the copyright, of course, that, that it's copyrighted and that they're not allowed to do that. Uh, yeah, and their reaction was more like, okay, why can you copy? You know? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so it was a little bit weird, but yeah, none of them would... Cool. Yeah. I mean, that's good. and it's, it's good from you from a business point of view, of course, because you know if you were if you're licensed and officially selling these and stuff, it's great from a business point of view. Obviously, if you were just copying them without paying any money or anything, then that's really bad for the reputation of your company and stuff like that. But the fact is, for your for your business, for your school, you know, the kids are getting this product. And actually, I'm going to be doing the new thing now. I'm going to be branding it and putting your school name on as well. Thanks. <laughs> so hopefully that's going to get, you know, the parents, parents talk. I mean, the mothers just talk with each other. Uh, and then they'll be saying, where do you get that from? I got it from this school, blah, blah, blah. And hopefully we get you more and more students, which I hope, I you're wanting more students, yeah? Well, not this year, but uh, at some point, yeah. <laughs> fill up for the moment, okay, fair enough. Um, so you get more income, you get more students, you get happier parents, happier students, and the kids get really good. As we've seen from other videos, I mean, you've just done an amazing thing. Uh, so there we go. So uh, basically, I'm going to open this up now for anybody who's on the blog. If you want to try this with me, email me. We'll get you set up. Now, with the online system last year, I let too many people in. I set up too many accounts, and it was just a real pig for me to manage. It was too difficult. So I'm going to keep this really small, really limited. Good teachers. If you think you're as good as Margaret, well, you Maybe, yeah, if you're near Margaret's level, obviously she's stellar through the roof level. But if you think you're a good teacher, you want to try this, email me or, uh, and uh, we'll get you set up with doing these USBs for your students. Get some extra income for you and getting your kids really, really good. Uh, or if you've got any questions, just put them in the blog comments below. I'll answer if I can. I think, Margaret, will you be on the blog as well, answering comments if people have got yeah, questions? Yeah. Yeah, you better help out. And there we go. So it's quite a long video. I hope you enjoyed it, but hopefully this is the future of... Uh, Get in the education system so more kids learn really quickly and learn at home. They get parental support and they have a lot of fun doing it. Um, teachers themselves, you get better businesses and stronger businesses, better foundations. You spend more time thinking about how you can get the kids better and less about the mechanics and all that stuff of running a business and stuff. Really getting the kids as good as we can. So and there we go. So thank you very much, Margaret. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope, yeah, I hope really many of you will join this because one thing, one thought I have, um, if more kids get really well, we could do really exciting projects, I think, and exchange right. more, and yeah. Brilliant, sounds cool. Excellent, okay, right. Everybody email me, put the comments in the blog, and uh, we'll see you later. Right, goodbye. Bye. <laughs>